Hello there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another hair tutorial. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be taking care of two requests in one video. One is for a style that is a little more forward with the bangs. I recently got my hair cut, so that is going to allow me to do that style. When my hair is longer, it's a little harder to style it that way for me. And then the second is I have had so many requests for years to recommend a dupe for or my favorite hairspray, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray. If you're wondering why on earth somebody wouldn't want that, well, believe it or not, it's not available outside of the United States or it's very difficult to obtain. So those of you in other countries have been asking for something that performs similarly also, I recently traveled back to Colorado. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that. But something that has been difficult in traveling is that this hairspray is not available in a travel size. So today I am going to share with you the travel size of the dupe hairspray. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started with the tutorial. All right, let's begin as usual. I'm just gonna roughly comb through in my recent haircut, my stylist took my undercut just to a number two guard this time. Previously, she had done a one and then a two, but I just had her do the two, so therefore, I have a little less gray and a little less scalp showing through, so I am enjoying that. And then as I style, you'll probably be able to tell a little bit of difference. We're kind of working into maybe something slightly new on top. All right, next I'm gonna go back to an old favorite. I pulled this out recently, I do love it. This is the Redken 25 Benefits One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment Spray. <laughs> Basically, there's lots of benefits. It's a heat protectant, it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner, and 23 other things. So I just put a little bit of this. It really does make your hair feel nice and soft, but it doesn't weigh it down. So I think this is a really good treatment spray if you're looking for something. And then the last product in my wet hair, I'm going to go back to my other root favorite. This is the Big Root Pump Plus by Sexy Hair. It is a huge bottle. It does come in multiple sizes, but it does come in a travel size. So I recently traveled with the travel version of this and I'm so happy that they do make this in travel size because it is a really good one. All right, so I just kind of put that all throughout, most of it here in the crown area where I have a little more <laughs> cowlicks and some issues there. All right, now I'm going to blow dry. I'm gonna do it on high fan speed and medium heat. kind of the side edges here and then this side I always do like to have this a little bit longer so I'm just going to take my flat iron through this top section 
and then a little bit here through the top just to kind of give a little bit of lift through there. So when you use a root boosting product like I used, not only does it give body as you're blow drying, but then when you go in with a heat tool, it kind of helps kind of seal in that style. So if you're adding lift with your flat iron, it's going to help hold that better. And then I am just going to take a peek at the back of my hair here. Okay, I'll show you the back. It's pretty flat and uninteresting, but we're gonna do something about that. Okay, I'm going to next go in with the Enjoy Dry Wax. And by the way, all of these products will be listed and linked in the description box below this video. And I am using, it's kind of like a flattened pea size amount. And with this product, you really want to work it completely into your hands until it looks like it's almost gone. Your hand will look a little bit shiny. And then I'm just going to now kind of push this into my hair. And as I do, I'm going to bring the hair forward and slightly over to the side. And then I am also gonna put some in the back here, just kind of roughly going back and forth through that, just to add a little bit of texture. And I'm gonna kind of style the back as it's going now <laughs> over to this side. Okay, now for the front section, I really enjoyed, I did this while I was on my trip, and kind of enjoyed the look of it. So I brought this longer side forward, and then I just brought these bangs over to the side slightly. And then I'm just going to kind of piece through the top here a little bit. All right, so now for the reveal of the dupe hairspray that I have been enjoying that I feel like performs just as great as the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray, and it is, it's by Bedhead, and it is the Hardhead. This is the Hard Hold hairspray, and this is the Mini. So this is a three ounce bottle. It does come in full size as well, but I had gotten this as a freebie with an order from Ulta a long time ago, and I forgot all about it. And so I tested it out on my trip, and I have to say this performed exactly like my Aussie Insert Freeze hairspray. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in my hair as I do with the Instant Freeze hairspray. I just do kind of short bursts. What I like about this, not only does it actually have a very nice smell, a scent, I think I actually prefer the scent of this better, but it holds, it it doesn't make the hair overly wet. So by doing those short bursts and it dries quickly and holds so well, and yet it does not make the hair feel like super dirty. And I did do two day hair with this and uh, my hair felt fine the next day. All right, let me take a peek at the back again in my dual mirror here. All right, so everything is held in place. Now, one finishing touch that you can do, and I've talked a lot about this hairspray, is the Bedhead Masterpiece. And I like this as a finishing spray to not only add a little bit of shine, but it kind of almost locks any frizzy or stray hairs in place. And I was in some pretty windy conditions while I was in Colorado, and I feel like this hairspray as a finishing touch really helps hold everything in place. All right, now here is the finished look. And as you look at this side, you can see by the styling forward, we're getting a really good view of the undercut. And even though it's not as short as it has been the last two times, I still feel like the number two is a really good length for me personally. And then in the back, what I had my stylist do is to take the overlay to more of a V in the back so that I can style it this way if I wish. And then on this side, you can see by going forward, 
just have this fun kind of little bit of texture. And then instead of kind of flattening this down as I have done a few times in the past, I just have been enjoying kind of letting a little bit of this kind of pop up over to the side. So, you know, just something fun and different. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, check the description box below for other hair tutorial videos as well as salon visits. So if you're interested in this style, you can see how my stylist cuts my hair as well as color. I get lots of color questions, so check those videos. I'll also list and link all the products and tools I use today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.